Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I have another installment of my trip to London and Paris which I took uh, in October 2017. So we started off in London, we went over to Paris for a couple of days and then back. But one of the highlights of my trip in Paris was this trip to the Sacré-Cœur Basilica in Paris in the 18th arrondissement. Uh, by the way, I have horrible French pronunciation, just ignore me. Anyway, but when you get up at the Anvers stop in the metro, you can walk up about three blocks up these beautiful cobblestone streets and see the basilica. But surprise of all surprises, this is an incredible area to buy fabric. If you take a look here on this little map I picked out, it's kind of small, but I'll have a link uh, down below. There are just all of these different fabric shops and they're called tissue stores. So let me start with the Petit Pain and it is mostly like a children's uh, home decor and fabrics. They've got cottons, they've got quilts, they've got um, the oil cloth, trims, buttons, and it was just absolutely adorable. So also as I was walking around I just had to stop and take a picture of this church. It's just gorgeous and the reason why is because it has all of this little mosaic tiling. So while this doesn't necessarily relate to the uh, fabric store I just want you to be inspired by all of these beautiful ceramic tiles both inside and out and also inside was this big it was all wooden including a wooden chevron floor and I'm just always kind of inspired by churches and cathedrals so I had to sneak this in since it was part of the trip. So anyways, as I was walking down the street, I saw some really cute little shops, including this one called Damn Buttons. <laughs> they just made me laugh because I'm 12. But I also ran across all of these stores selling these patches. Now, as you may or may not know, right now, like fabric applique patches are super fashionable right now. And I just went past these stores that had just like window after window after window. So one of the things that was so um, striking about this whole district is the just the variety of fabrics. Everything from damasks and toiles and kind of elegant fabrics to uh, like carnival type fabrics to brocades and silks and brights and costumey fun furs and things like that. It really just like everything you could possibly want is on this street. Um, I was particularly blown away by the beautiful kind of African prints as well. Just there were so many things to choose from so I actually didn't do any shopping here. So there was one more little store I went into and it's called Frufru and it's kind of like a traditional sewing Joanne fabric quilting shop. So there's ribbons and buttons and zips and snaps, all of these lovely little cotton squares ready to go. Um, it kind of, that's all bias tape by the way. Uh, and of course sequins and trims and beautiful things of that nature. They even had patterns and uh, all kinds of little fun goo all right, time to see what I got. And I was just smitten by these bright, bold colors. So I had to pick up these buttons. It's hard to tell, but they're almost fluorescent in real life, but they're just gorgeous. I picked up some beautiful pre-quilted fabric, and these are the scraps, because you'll see what I made in a minute. But um, I actually got three of them in my little bundle. And um, I love pre-quilted fabrics because it makes things like uh, eyeglass cases and coin purses just like done in a snap because you don't even have to line it it's already kind of done for you and then I got this little trio of fabric squares they're cotton and um, these will be great for some little accessories so as I mentioned I use my fabric to make this little earbud pouch and I just found this tutorial on YouTube probably should have top stitched it a little bit better so that this didn't come out and as you can see I also didn't line it because it was pre quilted fabric but if I had lined it that would have been like tucked in there but still I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out it is ridiculously handy to have a little place uh, to store my earbuds or you could put like little coins in here or whatever but these are just great little things to make and um, I will have a link in the description area to the video that I watched so that um, you can see this tutorial as well. All right, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Fabric District in Paris, France by the Sacre-Cœur Basilica and um, please make sure you check out the other 
crafting travel videos that I have to see about my other places that I visited in London, Hawaii, uh, yeah, all over the place, wherever I travel. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, have a crafty day.